The same thing applies to the holy month of Ramadan. It is not a normal month in the eye of Allah. It's extraordinary month. And since it's extraordinary in the eye of Allah, Allah expects us to prepare. But I'm going to share just four things with you in terms of how we prepare ourselves to welcome this holy month. Number one, and this is based on the traditions of the holy prophets. Look at yourself and ask yourselves, what wrongs do you do in your life? Start changing before Ramadan. Don't wait Ramadan enters and you go Astaghfirullah. Yes, Astaghfirullah is very important. Ramadan is highly recommended. Every day of Ramadan you do Astaghfirullah. But if you want to prepare yourself according to the Holy Prophet, you have a weak point, you have something wrong that you've been doing, stop it before Ramadan. That's important. Number two, Nas. People's rights. You've got somebody's right or you've taken somebody's right, give it back to the person before Ramadan. And if you don't have it to give it back to the person, sit with the person, negotiate and discuss. Don't make mistakes and get into the holy month of fasting while people's rights are on your shoulder. You will not benefit from Ramadan. Three. If there is any person that you are not in talking terms with, you are in loggerheads, bury the hatchet, reconcile before Ramadan. You cannot enter that month with that. The Holy Prophet mentioned every day of Ramadan, 70,000 people are forgiven. Then he said, but when it comes to the night of Qadr, just one night of Qadr, all the number of people who are forgiven in Rajab Shaban in the entire Ramadan, Allah Thrice of that he forgive on the night of Qadr. But then he said, except only one person. Then they asked Allah, who? The one who is not in talking terms with Allah. This is preparation. And last but not least, you have to have your own individual program. As I was mentioning in the mosque, we have one week to the holy month. Have you have a program? What's your spiritual program? You as an individual, leave the Jamaat. I'm talking of you. What do you want to achieve? Is it Quran you don't know how to recite and you want to be able to recite in the holy month? Is it that you owe a lot of salah and you want to start paying back in the holy month? Is it that you, know, you want to ref start reflecting on at least one verse every night of Ramadan? What's your personal program? What time are you going to go to bed? In Ramadan. How many minutes or hours are you going to spend with people when you, you are invited for Daku? How many minutes are you going to spend for sports if you are to go for sports? How many minutes? So you need to have your personal program. You cannot just enter the holy month when you don't have program yourself. It means you are not preparing yourself for the holy month. 